Eva? New this morning, a long day and night for state lawmakers. Just six hours ago, the General Assembly wrapping up its legislative session, celebrating by throwing papers in the air like they do every year. This session, however, has had its moments of controversy. Doug Richards has been covering the agreements and the arguments throughout the legislative calendar and has the latest on one bill that's on its way to becoming law. Georgia lawmakers exited noisily into the night a little after midnight. And I move that the Senate stand adjourn sine die. The Senate and the House did it with the traditional blizzard of paper, the release of 40 days worth of work that will mostly go dormant again until January 2022. Before they left, lawmakers passed a Republican bill that would prevent local governments from making steep cuts in police budgets. And they passed a bipartisan bill that would repeal Georgia's citizen's arrest law first enacted in 1863. It makes clear that deadly force is not a force that can be used in these matters of defending property. Isn't it true that Georgia would be the first state in the nation to repeal this law? That is absolutely true and it's something that makes me very proud. The citizen's arrest law was spotlighted by the racially charged killing of Ahmaud Arbery, a black jogger in Glynn County last year. Governor Kemp has indicated he will sign the repeal of the citizen's arrest law. And a big legislative win this year for state Republican 